All right, there's been a few sprinkles out there, but uh, yeah, it's going to go down in the books for most of Central Texas. Another hot, humid, sticky day with some cumulus clouds that bubbled up with the daytime heating. Already starting to see those uh, start to dissipate, come down in size. We're going to be mostly clear as we go into your evening. 92 degrees there, Temple in Bell County. Sea breeze showers and thunderstorms got going, trying to make it to our southeastern counties. Already fizzling out. A few sprinkles across Milam, Robertson, Leon, even maybe a sprinkle or two making it there into Limestone County. We're going to go mostly clear. We're going to be dry. Uh, remaining sprinkles these far southeastern areas for the next hour or so. That's it. We'll rinse and repeat. We'll do it again tomorrow, really even into Saturday and Sunday as well. Again, mostly clear as we go through the remainder of the evening. A little bit of a breeze out there. It's going to be another warm one. We'll see temperatures move from the 90s into the 80s. We'll be mostly clear overnight. Heading into tomorrow morning, it's the same kind of deal. We get some of those stratus clouds to develop in the lower levels. First thing in the morning, we'll see the clouds bubble up in the afternoon, mixing in with sunshine again, and you kind of saw it there. Another chance of some sea breeze convection coming in from the Gulf as we get into the late afternoon, early evening hours, falls apart, dissipates as we go into sunset. Same thing on Saturday again, heading into Father's Day weekend. You got plans for dad. Saturday is going to be another hot day with uh, partly cloudy skies and the chance of an isolated shower still only running about 10 to 20% chance of rain here. Everything's been driven by daytime heating. We need a real big storm system to come through. We need a big lifting mechanism. Once we get into the summer months, the jet stream has moved well off towards the north. You get your storm systems to ride along that. Well, that's well off towards the north. We haven't had anything come through. We're going to be watching this right now. Looking down into the Gulf of Mexico, you see some greens and yellows there. Nothing really organized, but there's a disturbance down here. Watch this as I go forward in time. You start to see some reds and oranges coming in. A little bit of a swirl there. We're going to be watching an upper level disturbance making its way towards Texas. That red and purples right there. That's going to be our lifting mechanism that we've needed for a while. We already got a good amount of Gulf moisture in the region right now, so you need lift. You need moisture. We're going to get more as this works its way northwest. We're going to see even deeper Gulf moisture being funneled into Texas. That's going to come together to give us a chance at least at scattered shower chances lingering for multiple days. Some widespread rain will be possible too. Now, where's the best chance for that going to set up? The southern half of Texas looks to have the best chance uh, for the widespread rain. To Friday and to Saturday, though, sea breeze showers and thunderstorms is going to be possible for our southern counties. Now going into Father's Day, could see a band of some scattered showers work through during the day. Right now, it doesn't look like it's going to rain all day on uh, Father's Day, but that'll be the next best chance for widespread rain across the region with some off and on showers possible. As we go into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we see that disturbance starting to work on shore. And as it does so, widespread rainfall is possible. The I-10 corridor could see several inches of rainfall. Could be off and on Sun or Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Maybe our western and southern areas seeing the best chance, but we could see one to three inches, still several days out, so we have time to see some changes though, but one to three inches not out of the question right now. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. One thing we'll get is cloud cover will move in. Some of the hit and miss showers and thunderstorms will move in, and that should knock our temperatures down. But as I mentioned, Gulf moisture will really surge in even more than now, and it will be muggy for us. But hey, we'll take 89 over 99 any day. Isn't that right, Doug? Yes. Yeah, I think so. I think so. A little, little humid out there, but it's good for us. All right, Zach, thank yeah. you very much.